These WWE wrestlers were hitting big brain moves during these championship matches. Cesaro, but it's not legal, he never made the tag! Kobe thought he made the tag! Cesaro sacrificed himself! We got new champs! We got new champs! Some of these tactics are so insane, you have to see them to believe them. We have to start with the king of thinking outside of the box, Eddie Guerrero. Latino Heat was a master of bending the rules and finding creative ways to win matches. However, the way he won this match might be his best. Eddie was set to defend his United States Championship against Matt Hardy on SmackDown. Eddie had Chavo Guerrero in his corner, while Matt had Shannon Moore. While the referee was distracted, Shannon Moore tried to attack Eddie with the title belt. Eddie not only avoided it, but also made it look like Matt had taken him out. Then, while the ref was removing the championship, Chavo ran in and actually hit Matt Hardy with a belt. With Hardy laid out, Eddie hit the frog splash, followed by the 1-2-3. Bianca Belair's hair has proven to be a very useful tool in her arsenal. Since it's part of her body, Belair can use it as a weapon without getting disqualified. Oh my God! Oh! However, the EST's long hair isn't just good for whipping people. At WrestleMania Backlash in 2021, Belair was defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Bayley. Bayley attempted to hit Bianca with the Rose Plant, only for Belair to counter it and use her braid to get leverage over Bayley and win the match. Bianca Belair turned the tables on Bailey, using her brain to her advantage, got her some leverage, and allowed Bianca to pin the challenger. Cody Rhodes is a genius when it comes to winning championship matches. Early in Cody's career, he was a tag team champion with Hardcore Holly. During their reign, Cody and Hardcore had to defend their championship against Ted DiBiase and a mystery partner. Before the match started though, Ted said his partner was running late and wasn't there yet. Regardless, the match started and DiBiase and Holly were the legal men. However, Cody attacked Hardcore Holly and then tagged in Ted DiBiase. The son of the Million Dollar Man finished off Holly, and it was revealed that Cody was Ted's tag team partner. It gets more confusing the more you think about it. Either way, Cody Rhodes is able to retain his tag team championship without breaking a sweat. About four years later, Cody Rhodes became the Intercontinental Champion, but lost it at WrestleMania to the Big Show. Of course, Rhodes automatically got a rematch, and this time, he had a plan. The match is a tables match, meaning Cody had to put Big Show through a table in order to win. This seemed to put Cody Rhodes at a disadvantage, but he somehow turned this around. Less than five minutes into the match, Big Show was on the edge of the ring, so Cody gave him a kick. It didn't do much damage, but the Giant lost his footing causing his boot to go crashing through a table. Technically, Rhodes had put Big Show through a table. Therefore, Cody was declared the winner and awarded the Intercontinental Championship. This is a prime example of using your environment to your advantage. At Extreme Rules in 2009, longtime rivals Edge and Jeff Hardy fought in a ladder match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Both men were not only masters, but innovators of the ladder match, so it was going to be tough for either one of them to win. Rather than try to incapacitate his opponent, Jeff Hardy decided to do something a bit different. As he and Edge were fighting on the ladder, Jeff jumped down and pulled Edge's legs, causing the radar superstar to get stuck in the ladder. This allowed Jeff Hardy to effortlessly pull down the title and become the new champion. Spraying your opponent with mist is a classic way to blind someone, but it's not the best way to win a match since it's pretty hard to hide from the referee. However, Asuka found a way around this. At Night of Champions 2023, Asuka was the number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship. Bianca Belair was the champ, but despite the Empress of Tomorrow's best attempts, Asuka could not end the match. She then attempted to spray Belair with mist while the referee's head was down. Belair dodged it, so Asuka improvised. The Empress wiped some leftover mist on her hand and then rubbed her fingers over Bianca's eyes, causing the champion to go blind. With her eyes burning, Asuka easily took out the EST and became the new champion. Corey missed to the eyes, but not in the traditional way. Asuka steals the women's championship. Now this next wrestler did win a world championship, but I don't know if the price he paid was worth it. In 2011, Christian had the biggest victory of his career when he won the world championship. Just five days later though, Christian would lose it when he was defeated by Randy Orton. This led to a series of rematches, but Captain Charisma could never dethrone the Viper. So, like anyone who can't win fair and square, Christian decided to use the power of the legal system to get his way. Before Christian fought Randy Orton at Money in the Bank, the ex-world champion had a lawyer rework the contract to include a special stipulation. If Randy Orton got disqualified, then the Apex Predator would lose the World Heavyweight Championship. With that in mind, the first thing Christian did once the bell rang was throw a chair into the ring and try to get Orton to hit him with that. Randy didn't take the bait, but as the match wore on, Christian continued to taunt and provoke the Viper. 
Finally, Orin got so fed up that he kicked Christian in the balls, causing them to get disqualified. Not only did Christian become the new world champion, but he also became the first female world champion too. Some people say that you always need to look strong during a WWE match, even if you're hurting. Dean Ambrose showed that faking pain has its perks too. At the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, Ambrose is defending his Intercontinental Championship against Kevin Owens in a last man standing match. Early into the fight, KO set up two tables on the outside. Ambrose was aware of this, and once he saw an opportunity, he took it. Owens had set up five chairs and laid Ambrose on them. Then, once Kevin Owens' back was turned, the lunatic fringe shoved his opponent off the top rope and sent him crashing through the two tables. KO wasn't able to answer the 10 count, allowing Dean to retain his IC title. Brock Lesnar is one of the strongest WWE wrestlers of all time, but even he was gonna have some difficulty when he was forced to defend the WWE Championship against the Big Show. To make matters worse, they competed in a stretcher match, meaning Brock was gonna have to somehow put Big Show on a stretcher and push the Giant past the yellow line. Well, he might be called the Beast, but Brock Lesnar was using his thinking cap in this match. Once Brock realized he couldn't get the job done himself, Lesnar ran backstage and brought out a forklift. Brock set the stretcher on it and then put Big Show on top of that. With his opponent in tow, Brock backed the forklift up, crossed the line, and retained his title. Okay, technically the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't a championship, but this move was so genius that you need to see it. During the women's Money in the Bank ladder match, Becky Lynch had gotten one hand cuffed by Trish Stratus and Zoe Stark. This wasn't really an issue, and in fact, Becky used it to her advantage by using the cuff as a hook to subdue Bailey, who was also in the match. However, Eosky joined in the fight, took the other cuff, and locked it around Bailey's wrist. With both Becky and Bailey unable to move or fight back, Eosky easily climbed the ladder and became Miss Money in the Bank. Now here are two big brain moves. In 2009, Rey Mysterio was the Intercontinental Champion and he was in a feud with Chris Jericho. They went at it during the Extreme Rules pay-per-view and while Jericho was strong, the end was near when Rey signaled for the 619. As Mysterio was coming in though, Y2J ripped off Rey's mask. Obviously, a masked wrestler could not reveal their face, which made Rey Mysterio completely defenseless and allowed Jericho to roll up the champion for the pen. Chris Jericho left the arena not only with a title belt, but also a mask. Rey Mysterio got his championship rematch at the next pay-per-view, The Bash, and the master of the 619 had a trick up his sleeve. During the fight, Jericho once again tried to unmask Rey. However, this time, Rey Mysterio had on a second mask, causing Jericho to be the one caught off guard. Rey then successfully executed the 619 and got his Intercontinental Championship back. When you think of Brass Knuckles, the first person that probably comes to mind is William Regal, but he wasn't the first person to utilize the power of the punch. Back in 1986, Macho Man was facing the Intercontinental Champion, Tito Santana. Savage was having trouble putting Tito down for the count, so Randy decided to get a bit dirty. The Macho Man pulled out a pair of Brass Knuckles, and while he missed his first swing, he nailed Tito in midair and quickly got the pin, earning Randy Savage his first championship in WWE. Years later, William Regal would also utilize the Brass Knucks and win many matches with them. However, someone would actually turn the tables on Regal and use the Brass Knuckles against the Englishman. During his reign as European Champion, William Regal was set to defend his title against Spike Dudley. As he was walking into the ring though, Regal dropped his Brass Knucks. However, once the referee turned his back, Regal hit a second pair in a turnbuckle. Spike Dudley was paying attention and rushed into the ring, grabbed the weapon, and knocked Regal out. By the time the referee had turned back around, Spike already had the leg hooked and he won the European Championship in four seconds. What's crazy though is that this is not the shortest WWE match. To see what matches ended even faster than this, watch this video.